Hey everyone, so in Animal Controller 1.4.5 we introduce a new concept to make skin mesh renders as active meshes in the package so you can pick skin mesh renderers and add it to steep just like armors and clothes so we're going to show you how to do it with this package right here on the asset store so at the end we're going to have something like this so we're going to start with a basic with a basic character and if we pick the legs you will see that we are going to have the health increase and some stats right here are going to change so for example if I pick the helmet I'm going to increase the health and I'm going to increase the attack and you can see the changes right here if I remove it you will see that the health is getting removed of the basic so let's see how we can do this first since Sinti characters are set as their own character which means that they are not splitted if I set the ghost right here for example you cannot separate the parts so you have to do it on your own own 3d software so right here in 3dx max i have the goblin separated into two states so the warrior and the basic one and also if i move you'll see that the arms are separated the torso the head and the legs for both characters so they can be interchangeable and also I have a helmet which is a static mesh and it's not skinned so we can work with that too now back to unity I exported it as a goblin and right here in this folder disable all of this and in this folder I have the goblin set as humanoid and already set now to convert Steve to convert the goblin sorry to work with the animal controllers first we need to duplicate Steve and we're going to unpack it completely and then we're going to drag goblin right here we're going to remove the animator and we're also going to unpack completely and this is going to call meshes since it's the mesh for the goblin and i'm going to remove all the armor parts and i'm going to leave the basic goblin also i'm going to remove the helmet so i have the basic one i'm going to remove steve meshes and i'm going to remove steve bones and with this we have a goblin goblin that we can work with the animal controller now right here we need to change the avatar for the goblin if we hit play everything should work we can move with the goblin and here on the look at reference it's going to ask for a bone for the neck and for the head so in the goblin bones let's drag this one right here let's find 
the head and the neck so on the look at we're going to set the head and the neck and we're going to test it out to see if it works and let's try different rotations right here let's set it to zero zero and zero and zero right here so the neck is going to be something like this so minus 90 and 90 right and for the head I think is working already yeah it is working already so let's copy this and paste it back now let's go to the important parts so we need to change these models for the ones with the armor so this is going to be arms this is going to be the head this is going to be the legs and this is going to be the chest perfect now here on appearance let's reset the aptest meshes and we're going to do a chest set and we're going to call basic and we're going to set the chest right here let's duplicate this one and call it head it's going to be basic with the head let's do it again two times it's going to be the, the legs and this is going to be the arms so legs is going to have the legs and the arms is going to have the arms perfect now we have this set set to basic and there is going to create another one for the helmets and this one is going to be empty so we can have an empty head with the helmet nothing is going to be set here now we are going to create an item that we can pick and once we pick it the legs are going to change so let's start with something basic let's create an empty game object let's call it uh, armor legs here I'm going to create a trigger on trigger enter I think it's called enter trigger enter there you go we're going to use it once and we're going to set it to the animal layer so animal layer is going to pick it and this one is going to be item so the goblin is on the animal layer it's going to interact with the armor legs right here let's set it right here let's see the uh, we don't have a sphere collider let's add a sphere collider there you go and what else do we need we need a mesh so in this case I'm going to create a, a sphere inside it and I'm going to set it something like this but instead of a sphere I'm going to use the goblin armor legs this one right here so when we pick it it's going to be the armor legs I'm going to remove the sphere collider this one right here we also we have this one which will going to be the the picket the picker win picker item so I'm going to set something like this and I'm going to give the same material as the the legs but it's not going to be the oh yes it's, this is the armor legs now when this is picked we're going to change 
the legs of this character. So we're going to create a new added mesh object. So we're going to go to, let me set this one on another folder so we don't get confused. Damn it. So I'm going to create Malvers Animations Tools Aptit Mesh Object and I'm going to call it Goblin Leg Armor and right here in the Legs Armor we're going to find the mesh that we want to set. So right here is this mesh, right here, this one. So back to the leg armor, we're going to find legs armor, not this one, but this one, armor, right there. So the eating name is going to be warrior legs. The set name is going to be the set that we set right here the added mesh so the set is going to be legs let's do this so we can set it better the set is going to be the legs and the parent so this when this mesh is instantiated we're going to set it as child of this game object so the parent is going to be meshes and now, when it's active, we're going to add to the stats max value, the health. So we're going to increase the health value. So max value, we're going to modify it and we're going to add 20 to the health. And also we're going to set the current value to the max value. We're going to reset it. And on the activate, so let's copy the serialize reference and paste it. We're going to remove that 20 value that we just added. If that item is removed. And we don't need to reset it because it's going to be clamped automatic, automatically. So once we equip these legs, are going to be set on the on the goblin and they are going to increase the health so you will see that we're going to have a max value of 120 now let's try this we have the goblin we have the trigger enter and now when we enter a core object we're going to enable we're going to add that mesh active object so we're going to go to active mesh object add mesh so this will be used and we're going to use it once so let's try this if we hit play and we go to the legs you will see that we have the legs on the character and if we go to the appearance we have the legs the active legs are warrior legs which are actually right here goblin leg warriors leg armor and we also on the goblin you'll see that we have the health of 120 and if we use the canvas with the slider UI prefab you'll see that when we change the legs the health changes so we have the basic ones and we have the new legs and you can do that for every part of the body that we created so let's stop right here and Right here, the parent is going to be meshes. I don't know why, why the parent didn't 
all through and I think is because the appearance is the owner no we need to set the owner to be goblin and the root bone is going to be root we need to specify that so once we pick the legs you're going to see that they're going to be instantiated right here and that's it that's how you can do active meshes with the new update for animal controllers let's do one more so you can see it let's do the armor chest we're going to duplicate this one right here chest armor the name is going to be warrior chest the set is going to be chest the power is going to be meshes and we're going to increase 50 health and when it's off it's going to decrease that same value what else do we need we need to change the mesh so the torso armor is going to be the one that we're going to pick let's put this one right here it's going to change the armor legs for the torso sorry this one's this one right here we're going to set something like this and what else do we need i think that that's it let's double check ah we need to change the leg armor and set the chest armor to be ad added and now if we pick it we pick the legs we're going to have the legs right here we're going to pick the chest we have the chest and if you see the health it has increased to 170 and we have the both new meshes right here let's go to appearance active mesh we have the warrior's chest and we have the legs so that's it that's how you can do that